Welcome, my friends, to today's Art Lab, where we get together and we learn about a famous artist and then we recreate his artwork. So I'm excited. I hope you are too. Let's get started. Can anybody guess who we're going to talk about today? Well, it's this gentleman right here whose name is Claude Monet. Has anybody heard about Claude Monet? He's a very famous artist, and you probably see a lot of his paintings around and you don't even realize it. So Claude Monet was a famous French painter whose work gave the name to an art called Impressionism. And I'm gonna show you some of his pictures in a little bit and you'll get to know a little bit more about what Impressionism is. It's concerning capturing light in a natural form. And that's what Claude Monet did. He became known as the master of light and color. At an early age, Monet developed a love of drawing. He loved to draw. And boys and girls, when he was in school, and he was just like us, my friends, guess what he used to do? Instead of paying attention to the teacher, which you should always pay attention to the teacher, he would draw pictures, and he would draw pictures of his teachers. He would draw pictures of the children around him. He was very aware of what everything was going on around him. So, with that being said, I told you I was gonna show you one of his pictures, and now I'm one of his pictures, but a big picture in my big book of art. Here's one of Claude Monet's pictures. And remember, my friends were talking about Impressionism and what that is. And think about, you have a paintbrush, and on your paintbrush, you put a little bit of paint, and you just do little dots, dot, 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 dot. And the more dots you put, and the more different colors you put, before you know it, you've created a work of art or a painting. And that's what Claude Monet did. Impressionism. That was his form of art. So in the community, he became very well known for his drawings. Everybody knew about what Claude was doing. And he drew many of the town's residents. So one day, my friends, when he was walking through the town that he lived in in France, he met up with another artist. And this was a landscape artist, which is an artist that paints outdoors, that paints landscapes, trees and flowers and gardens. And he became so impressed with his artwork that he decided that this is what he wanted to do for the rest of his life. So he liked to work outdoors, and sometimes he was even accompanied by other artists who later became just as famous as Monet. They would get together and they would make beautiful pictures of the outdoors and gardens. And he suggested to capture the natural world by using colors that were strong and bold and made people look at it. So remember, Impressionism, short little brush strokes. So it's not like coloring, it's not like coloring in a coloring book. Just short little strokes. Put that out so you can see it. So with that in mind, in one of the gardens that he used to do, he used to like, there was one in particular that Claude Monet loved to paint. And he especially loved to paint water lilies. And this is what we're gonna to make today, my friends. We're gonna recreate Monet's Lot of Lilies artwork. So, he did a series of these water lilies and some of them were so big that they were on canvas as big as a wall and they're actually hanging today in a very famous museum in Paris, France. He died at 95 years ago on December 5th, 1926 at his home in Givenchy, France. And he is well known and he opened the door for further impression, impressionism art with the dots. So you see, if you're looking at this, my friends, you're thinking, well, wait, this doesn't really look like a bunch of dots. This looks more like, like different strokes of paint. And a lot of times that's what he did. He did just anything and anything to do with colors. So sometimes it was like the one I showed you in the book. And then sometimes he just painted. He painted landscapes and water lilies. So that being said, my friends, are you ready to get started to make your own masterpiece? I know I am. So for those of you that came to the library and picked up an art bag, you can take your bag now and we're going to take out what's inside. My friends, for those of you that do not have an art bag that are joining me today, please do not worry about it because everything that's in this bag, you can find at home. All right, so open up our bag. Let's 
take out all of our goodies. Besides what's in our bag, you're going to need a pair of scissors. That's appropriate for your hands. Glue. My friends, I would use your liquid glue. This is my glue stick or my glue pen, all right? When I squeeze it, the liquid glue comes out. It's better in this particular project to use the liquid glue, but if you don't have it, it's okay. You can use a glue stick. Inside your bag, you will find a piece of green construction paper, a piece of cardstock, for those of you at home that do not have the bag, any piece of hard cardboard will do. You can even take a, a box, a gift box, take out the bottom, use a cardboard, All right? We have some colored tissue paper. For those of you that do not have tissue paper, you can use construction paper. For the colors, you can use paint. We have green, dark blue, light blue, very pretty, sort of reddish pink called fuchsia, and white. These are your colors. Again, my friends, if you do not have the bag, you can use these colors in any form you like. Paint, markers, crayons, doesn't matter. So, let's take our white sheet of cardstock. This is what we're gonna start out. What this is gonna be, my friends, is this is gonna become your pond. So what I want you to do is take your marker, and with your marker, I want you to take your piece of paper and draw the pond. Try to get as much of it in your piece as you can, because we're gonna to add to this, so you wanna make it as big as you can. Once you have it, and you have it the way you like it, I want you to take it and cut it out so you have a piece like this. This is gonna be your pond. Once you have your pond, you're gonna take it. We're gonna put it aside for a moment. Here comes the fun part. The only time you're gonna use these little guys is just what we did now to cut out your pond. After that, put them aside. And you're probably thinking, Miss Marianne, how am I going to cut out my tissue paper? Well, you know what, my friends? You're not. You're going to take your tissue paper, unfold it, take it. It doesn't have to be in the middle. Just take it and rip it, just like that. How fun is that? Take it again. And when you rip it, just kind of rip it. I want you, at this point, to think of this as paint. And you're painting the picture. This is going to be your paint. So when we paint, and those of you that don't have tissue paper that are using real paints, what do you do? You take your brush, you put it in there, and you paint. Well, we're painting with tissue paper. So you're gonna take this and you're gonna take and just rip it. If it's just a little spot like this, it's okay. If it's a little thin one, it's okay. You're gonna keep ripping, my friends, until you have a bunch of little strips just like this. You're gonna do the same thing as you can see with your light blue. Just rip, don't cut. It doesn't matter what they look like. You don't want them to be really big because what you're gonna do is you're gonna take those strips, you're gonna take your glue, and you're gonna start gluing them onto your pond. And you see what Miss Marianne did? I just took it, I overlapped them. You know what? Be sloppy. It doesn't, it's a masterpiece. It's a work of art. It doesn't have to be perfect. Take them glue them. Now you're going to see as you start to glue, my friends, that the glue is going to be kind of wet. It's almost going to look like you put water on there. What I would do, so you don't get your hands just all messy, just take a pencil and just run the pencil over it so you can kind of roll it 
or anything that you have, even if you have, let's see, oh, here's a pencil. Let me grab a pencil and I can show you, all right? So take your pencil, just kind of roll over it as you do it. So this way you don't get your fingers all sticky and then you have it stuck to your hands. Once you have this, it's gonna look like this. See, any which way, it doesn't matter. If it comes off the side, no problem. That's when you use your scissor and you just cut it right off. So it looks like this. This, my friends, is your pond. This is your canvas. This is where you're gonna create your lily pads. We're done with our blue tissue paper. We're gonna put that aside. We've already used our sheet of cardstock. We won't need that anymore. So now we're gonna to start to create the lily pads. Going back to our picture, you can see here. See how Claude Monet made these little lily pads and he made them with the different colors? We're gonna make ours, and I gave you two options. You have your sheet of construction paper, your green construction paper, and again, remember, those of you that wanna use paints, markers, crayons, green, whatever you like, you have your green construction paper or your green tissue paper. Both of these are gonna be for your lily pads. You choose. Your lily pads are gonna go on to here. So what you're gonna do, if you have your big sheet of paper and you wanna do it, you take it, half, half again. You wanna make it small, just like this. When you open it up, you're gonna have eight squares. Fold it up again. Draw a lily pad. Take your scissor. This you're gonna have to use your scissor for. Cut it out and look like this. That's one way of doing a lily pad. I did it, my friends, with the tissue paper. You do the same thing. You take your tissue paper, you draw a little lily pad. If you're not sure, my friends, how to do a lily pad, think of it as this shape, only super tiny on here. When you have it done, you make one drawing, just one, and you cut it out. When you cut it out, my friends, here's the fun part. You're gonna get all these lily pads with just one cut. How cool is that, right? So now you have your lily pad. In mine, I chose the tissue paper because it looks more like paint. So you're gonna take it and you're gonna take it, put it in front of you. Now it's time to create your beautiful flowers. So with your flowers, my friends, I want you to take your white piece of tissue paper out of your thing. For this, we're gonna use just a tiny amount. So take it just like this and crumble it up as if you're doing like a little ball. See that, like a little marble, right? When you have that, you're gonna take your pink or your fuchsia. Again, you do not need a scissor. Take a little piece off. Take your white ball. Take a little bit of glue. You wanna use your liquid glue if you have it. And you're gonna stick it right in the middle. See that? Right in the middle, just stick it right in there. That's gonna be the middle of your flower. When you have that, you're gonna take it. See Miss Marianne's thumb? Put your thumb right on there, like that. Hold it just like that. Take your paper and you're gonna squish it, my friends. Take your paper and squish it all the way around that little dot. See how I did that? Doesn't have to, don't worry about it. It doesn't have to be perfect. You want a little flower just like that. Take it, put some glue on the back. Take your piece of tissue paper or again, if you wanted your piece of construction paper, whatever you'd like, take it, stick it on there, 
just like that. And you have your flower. And you notice, my friends, how it sticks up? It makes it like three-dimensional. It's going to stick up. You can make as many as you want, no matter how big your pond is. So here's my pond over here. So take your pond back, just like this. Gonna take it, put some glue on the back, and stick it right on your pond, like that. There you go. Let's do another one. Once you put your flower on there, put it wherever you'd like. How about another one? I love making these. I love making these. I'll put one right in the middle. Let's, should I put another one? Let's do another one. Let's do another one. Like that. One more. How about one right over here? Put it in there like this. There you go, my friends. We've just created Claude Monet's Water Lily Project. And you have a lot of tissue paper left over. You have a lot of different things that we used left over. If you want, you can make a big one and you can put it in your room. And you'll always think of, what was his name? Say it with me, Claude Monet. So I hope you enjoyed Art Lab as much as I enjoyed being with you. Please check out our Facebook and our events calendar for different things that are coming up. I would love to see your Water Lily project. So if it's okay with your parents, put it on our Facebook. We'd love to see it. Until next time, my friends, take care, stay well, enjoy your summer, and I hope to see you all again soon. Thanks for joining me today. Have a great day. Bye.